Hello and welcome to another Average Joe's video. Now it's been a while since our last road trip so we thought we'd rectify that with something that is promising to be a real game changer. Taking it from the west of Spain up the west coast of France back to the UK, enter the all new Mini Clubman. Now I know what you're thinking, the Mini Clubman, that's the one with the weird van-like doors at the back, right? It is, but the 2015 edition is far more than a few changes here and there. In fact, it's an advert for where Mini are going and why we should all pay a little bit more attention. The 2015 Clubman is Mini's biggest car yet. It's one foot longer and three inches wider. So their size changes that don't sound like much, but are very noticeable. I mean, I've never driven a Mini that has this much space in it. And that goes for storage space as well. So sticking with the inside and technology, Mini Connected, which is the onboard entertainment interface, is the same as the 2014 Mini releases. But, you know what they say, if it ain't broke, don't fix it and all of the Spotify connection, search online from the dash features are still readily available in all models of the Clubman. So onto the drive. Now it's no secret that the most exciting part about driving a Mini and the bit that anyone that works with Mini will constantly remind you of is the go-kart-like driving experience. And I can safely confirm that this hasn't been lost in the size changes, not even a little bit because driving this car around the edge of the Pyrenees mountain is the most fun I've had in bloody ages. So the version we have is the Clubman Cooper S, which does 0 to 60 in just over seven seconds, although in sport mode and using the flappy paddles, it feels like it does it in about half that time. So there's no argument against the practicality of this car because on this trip, we've done about 600 miles worth of auto route driving. And during that time, the lane, cruise and collision control has done pretty much all the hard work. Speeding me up when I want to overtake and then slowing me down if I get too close to the car in front and then alerting me if I'm swifting and drifting out of my lanes. And the best part about all of that is that many have said that all of those options come standard in any of the club and models. Amazing. The Clubman is a ridiculously smooth drive and the handling is as to the point as a scale electrics car. It's by far the most comfortable Mini I've ever driven and on a journey like this, that my friend, is a ruddy godsend. Minis are getting more known for coming into their own at night time and with the rebranding and the big movements that Mini are making, they're looking to be seen as more innovative. And there are some nice little touches on the Clubman on the inside and out which show just why they deserve that accolade. So let's summarise, are Mini doing enough with the Clubman to put themselves into that premium first car category? Well, we say yes, it's got plenty of space, it's a lot of fun to drive, it looks great, and up against the humdrum and endless list of boring hatchbacks, the Mini Clubman's quirkiness gives it one hell of an edge. If this video has tickled your fancy, why not check out Average Joe's for a full write-up and a whole bunch of other content. I've been Saunders, this is Average Joe's, and I'll see you again soon.